All right, we're gonna mix up some paper mache paste. I'm gonna show you two different ways. I just turned on my pan to a high heat and I've got one cup of cold tap water just straight from the tap. And we're gonna let that start to heat up. And while this is heating up, we're going to add about two tablespoons. You can use just your big spoon. It's usually a little bit shallow, so you usually get a little bit less, so I kind of heap it with that. Or you can get a measuring, but it does not have to be precise. So we're not baking. Baking has to be exact. We are making crafts, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But the more flour you add, the thicker your paste is going to become. And it is going to thicken as it cools down and sets up. Right now I'm just using all-purpose flour. Um, you want to avoid wheat flour because it'll be stickier. It'll still work, but it'll be stickier. And if you have a gluten sensitivity, make sure you're checking those flours. There are some other recipes on ultimatepapermache.com. Um, and other than that, it's just flour and water. So we're going to check this out. If you don't, or if you're going to use it long term, you're going to want to add some salt to it. But you only want to mix up what you can use in one day or one sitting because this stuff is not going to last um, for multiple days. So you don't want to mix up a bunch extra. So I'm going to flush my flour a little bit. Again, I'm not baking. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a level scoop. And I'm starting to get a little bit of bubbles in here. I'm going to add that fast. And I'll show you what I use for about my tablespoon with that one. But this one would be kind of a heaping table tablespoon there. Okay. Have something to set your utensils in. Probably the container that you're going to set your paste in. Because this stuff will get sticky. You do not want to let it sit on the counter. If it gets on the counter, you don't want to let it sit there. I'm grabbing my whisk. It's going to get the lumps out. And my stove works really hot. So I'm going to turn that down now to a little lower than medium. You can see it's thickening really fast. So I'm trying to get these lumps out. You can do this with a fork if you don't have a whisk. Okay, stirring as fast as you can. It's already starting to thicken. And once it's even on a low heat, it's bubbling already. So I'm just gonna take it right off the heat. Oops, turn that off. I'm still trying to get some of these lumps out. The best I can. And then I'm gonna let it cool down. I may, this one is pretty thick. You could even add a dash more water to try to get these lumps out. And I might do that in a second here. But first, I do not wanna to touch the hot stove. But again, like I said, this stuff gets really sticky. I don't know if you can see it here. Out of screenshot, I did get some, so I'm wiping that up so it doesn't stick because it's really hard to scrape off later. <laughs> just takes soaking it and scraping it. Okay, so that's one way to make the paper mache paste. As soon as that cools down a little bit, that one's ready to go. And I'll show you the second way to make the paste in just a moment. 